this is Shadi. Today we're going to be discussing Jigoro Kano's way of viewing how to improve your body. The only way we can do this is of course through his own writings. So we will be visiting the book Mind Over Muscle. I recommend every grappler to read this if you're in the Judo Jiu Jitsu world. I highly recommend you read this. It will change your perception to everything, especially regarding Judo and old Judo. So there is this chapter called the practice of Judo and there are sub parts where he discusses the improvement of the body because he talks a lot about strength and he says there's a lot of people who train solely to become strong but yet they have so many illnesses and there are those who do not train any physical activities involved with only intellectual activities and they look so healthy he says it's not either or so when it comes to improving your body is through judo he says and he says and i agree that judo has everything you need for your body to grow stronger and also discusses the part that when you want to do something it should be for a purpose it should be something that can go outwards for example um, training for mobility training for functional strength for example you see them here in front of you they are uh, doing this this will greatly strengthen your brachialis in your arms on your forearms and here also climbing rope not only it's fun but make sure you don't burn your hands like i did but your grips your lats your muscles will be great for everything regarding judo for warm-ups for drills also strengthening your cardio training with your uh, teammates uh, as such it doesn't have to be on stairs a lot of times we just carry each other like this we squat the partner or we carry them across the mat we run jumping squats or duck squats whatever it is all of these i do believe they will contribute to a great uh, physique and uh, honestly i don't believe that you need all this heavy lifting uh, to be a great judoka that's never the case when i had my talk with sasaki when i discussed the uh, purpose of their bodybuilding or what it served he says it's great of course you need to build a foundation good legs but they will never replace training in judo everything you need is in the dojo he even said that until his early 20s abe hifumi never went to the gym or barely just did it for university courses but it's all in the dojo he was never this big lifter like ono or maruyama so and you can see he's clearly one of the greats and he will will be remembered as such so all these grueling drills you see here in front of you we do these regularly every dojo i would say they do this so what kano says about this is that you want to be good for the service of society not only intellectually but also uh, physically because what's good of a body that's big and strong but it's ill one great example i think of is modern bodybuilders how many have passed away just in the past three years alone professionals and non-professionals and it's quite unfortunate where they're just training to look a certain way but um, inside they are literally dying and it's really unfortunate they commit themselves they train like crazy their diet etc and yet they are doing this to their own detriment unfortunately so that's not to say that lifting weights is bad of course it can help now with exercise science i'm sure it can help but everything you need i do believe it's in the dojo especially if you're not the top 0.1 percent so he also talks about uh, training at the dojo a lot of people for whatever circumstances they will lose uh, time and they cannot go to the dojo as much as they do so outside of the dojo there's no training for them and he says you don't need to do that there's a lot of drills that you can do all by yourself and he even says it includes methods of punching kicking and thrusting so here is one of those things that he had uh, passed down to us you can see those 
they might look a bit silly but uh, when it comes to movements and mobility of your shoulders uh, flexibility when you bend over kicking you're gonna see all of them you will realize that they can be very beneficial especially as you get older so um, when it comes to strength Kano clearly is not saying you know do three sets of squats and then followed by overhead press and you will be a great chidoka no he says whatever you happen to train and how you train your body it should be in a way that it becomes functional as a result he also says make sure you work every part of your body through waza so uh, your legs for example here you see you can gain mobility flexibility and also that explosiveness as well as training with your partner so uranage for example you are hoisting your partner up you are squatting down exploding up uh, uchimata you ha you're having great legs um, all these things that work all the muscles in your body you have to be mindful of them and work them so as you can see he he is not very big on big muscles or um, just be becoming a showman through your body and um, honestly I do agree to a certain extent uh, you don't need the gym to be a good judoka you can if your professors or teachers do a lot of these drills where you work with your partners and really craft your physique you're holding your partners up running with them squatting them doing jump squats uh, across the mats running the stairs if you do have them available your cardio your strength your muscular endurance all of them will get a great workout and you're gonna be one of those who last the longest because as you get older you're gonna realize that i need to save up energy this is really not necessary to do this i'll be doing that etc and it's those who endure that last it's not the strongest and i'm sure you would agree um so uh, i strongly recommend the book mind over muscle it's great to really just sharpen your mind and also uh, have a different outlook on judo now we are just looking at rules and competitions and a lot of these strong ippons done by guys in their early 20s and we think you know, have to be like them or you know you get a bad look at yourself or self-reflection that is bad because you cannot be like them keep in mind all the best in the past Kano, Mifune, uh, these small guys even Isao Okano they weren't uh, these strong guys they knew how to throw they knew how to position themselves and I will make a future video about the Japanese way of throwing with um, some footage I captured from the Ebinuma uh, seminar that I had so it's really not about you know, being the strongest the, does cardio and explosiveness help of course and you need them but just to be big and strong that's not it so if you have anything to add let me know this was Shady thank you for listening